Whenever a new game is on the brink of release, spoilers can be everywhere. And when that new game releases, you better invest in some super duper spoiler protection gear. Because you better believe that spoilers are just waiting in the tall grass of internet land ready to jump out at you. But what counts as a spoiler? Is it a plot detail, a game mechanic, or a simple picture of an NPC? By the time this comes out, Breath of the Wild has been out for a while as I didn't even get it until the 24th of March and I've most definitely neglected working on this video when playing it instead, but this was a huge topic in the comment sections of trailers and Twitter posts involving Breath of the Wild. Some people even made salt-filled posts saying, People have weird definitions of spoilers. Promotional art is not a spoiler. Shut up. What did you expect? You followed this account. Truth is, your definition of a spoiler is different than someone else's. Someone might consider a picture of a boss a spoiler while others will not. To give you a visual representation, let's sort people anticipating a new game into three main categories. Blackouts, interests, and hypers. Blackouts are, quite simply, those who don't want to know anything apart from a title and a few images of the main character. They'll probably mute and or block most people who may post their definition of a spoiler, which is pretty much anything about the game. They wish to have a completely blind experience with the game. They want to be amazed on every aspect. They never want to say, oh hey, I saw this in a trailer, Twitter post, or YouTube video. I have huge respect for people who do this. That takes a lot of self-discipline. When the majority of people are freaking out over some detail about the game, they have the self-control in order to say, no, I don't want to know. When they get the game, they're probably more likely to be extremely amazed by everything way more than someone who has spent the last three months studying every 90 minutes of gameplay video or every two hour trailer analysis video from Game Explain. Wait, two whole hours? Who even wants to watch all that? Oh. Hi, I'm a hyper. I want to know absolutely everything about this game. I'm too hyped to care about being amazed by the game when I play it. I want to be amazed right now. For hypers, there are little to no spoilers. It's simply a detail they want to know. These are usually the people who make those saltier than the ocean posts from earlier. However, the weird thing about hypers is that they only really consider story elements spoilers, which is weird to me personally. Story and gameplay are both part of the experience. Shouldn't they be handled the same? What do you mean you don't want to know anything? Don't you want to know the solution to this one puzzle so you can beat it as quickly as possible? Don't you want to know all the elements of the story so it's harder to get immersed in the game because you already know everything so the stuff this one NPC who, by the way, is actually- Okay, Hyper, time to calm down. No, these aren't spoilers! The company released them! It's in the trailer! Shut up, you stupid dumb- Just because something is released by the company in question or it's in a trailer doesn't mean that everyone wants to see it. Blackouts may not watch a trailer because of this. When a new game is announced or rumors start to circulate, we all start out completely blind. We know nothing, and then depending on who we are, we may want to learn more. A spoiler is something that lifts the blindfold of not knowing anything. It spoils the surprise of seeing it in the game for the first time. In fact, the top definition of spoiler on Urban Dictionary is when someone reveals a previously unknown aspect of something which you would have likely rather learned on your own. Psh, whatever. You have a weird definition of a spoiler. Obviously, hypers and blackouts are the two extremes of the group, and this leads us to the last of the three types, the one that I'm willing to bet most of you are. The interests. You're interested in this game. You may have even hopped aboard the hype train, but you don't want to know absolutely everything. You still want to be amazed by the game, but you don't want to go in completely blind. Some interests may not want plot details, such as myself, while some may not want to know the name and appearance of every enemy. We might not watch every single gameplay and trailer analysis video, but we might watch one or two. The problem with being an interest is that you want to know things about the game to further amplify your hype, but you don't want to risk losing the original amazement when you eventually discover the thing for yourself. That was the biggest problem I I faced in the weeks before Breath of the Wild's release, the weeks in between that release and my actual having of the game, and even when I eventually did have it. Pictures of the final boss and final cutscenes were everywhere. Sifting through images just to look at art had to be done carefully. You talk about this game too much! Even before March 3rd, most of the YouTubers I follow and game reviewing companies or whatever had gotten free copies of Breath of the Wild early from Nintendo, so random screenshots were pretty much everywhere, and even more so after the official release. If I were a blackout, I'd have muted all these people and got off the internet altogether, which I did do to a certain extent. If I were a hyper, I'd have followed more of these people to get more information, watched every single stream, and even watched that video that came up in my recommended that gave a small amount of context to Zelda's crying scene, which was the scene I wanted to experience the most fresh and just WHY WOULD YOU POST THAT?! Ah! But instead, I'm stuck there debating as to whether I wanted to look at a picture or reading an article and even the occasional video. I usually ended up looking at it and instantly regretting it. I admit that that's completely my fault. My brain was slowly losing its grip on sanity at that point. 
If you should take anything at all from this video, it's to respect other people's definition of a spoiler and what they do or do not want to see. Even if you personally don't think it's a spoiler, just tag it. Just say, hey, possible spoilers ahead, or non-story spoilers here, which now a lot of videos and articles now feature, which is really helpful. Simple things like this may save you from a couple of angry comments, and many more will be thankful. This has been a PSA presented by TMD. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this game talk. I hope you liked it. If you did, leave a like and a comment to show it and uh, uh, just comment something if you want. I don't know. Uh...